So I get a crate, and who uses it? Isla does. That's Blue's home. Why are you there? That's for Blue. show you some behind the scenes. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but I've kind of tried to up my game on there and this beauty has helped me a lot with that because I had no idea what the frick I was doing. Um, but so we're going to do some behind the scenes of how we get those photos because I know some of you guys have asked and I am no pro at this, so I'm going to let the guru help and teach you guys as well and like kind of see from her perspective on how we get those shots for the gram. Okay? Yay. All right. Yay! So you watched me just do a photo shoot. April is right now revealing or reviewing her photos. That's really important to do, especially in brand shoots. So I'm gonna walk through three quick things that I go through for every brand shoot for myself, especially because I take my own photos. And that is number one, scouting locations. Um, I would suggest you scout your locations before you buy your outfits. So you buy your outfits to match the locations. I did that this morning. I made a huge mistake. I wore a red, kind of formalish dress and showed up to the location early enough to realize that it did not match. So I would either A, have to switch locations, or B, have to switch an outfit. So ran to Target, got a new outfit, we're good. And so now, so that's what I would say. Scout location, then pick outfits to match. Make sure that the outfits and the location match your Instagram brand or your brand in general. And then number three is all the posing. And you kind of saw what I did with April right now. Like I would say once you get the location and the outfit, just keep moving, move, move, move. Know that every snap is an opportunity to get closer. So small movements are good. And just review, adjust, review, adjust, and eventually you'll get the one photo. So I hope that helps. Good morning, guys. So after a fun day of having a photo shoot, it is now a couple days later, and uh, I'm feeling not as glamorous because I'm so tired. <laughs> um, we've had blue the past two nights, and it is not easy when they're not potty trained yet and on top of that having the three kids like big props to mommy Oli because she watches the kids and blue and daddy ben like while i'm at work for a few hours but like at night it is hard like he's so used to sleeping on my parents bed but like raf doesn't want him on our bed so he like i've been sleeping out on the couch with him so like the first night i slept down on the couch with him we barricaded it so it was like a circle and then inside the, like in the middle area was like puppy pads. So if he wanted to go down, he can go pee and poop there if I didn't wake up by any chance. Um, but that was just hard. Like I wanted to be able to sleep in my bed last night. So I ended up getting a crate for him so that we can start crate training. Because I think that he needs to have like um, his own space to call home because he is going to be moving a lot between my house, my parents' house, my sister's house. So I figured he needs to have like an, a safe space of his own that he knows that he can always go to, but it takes a lot of getting used to because he is so used to like following us around, being carried, being cuddled, which is totally fine because he's a puppy. Um, but I need some sanity. So I like got the crate and the first few hours were like so successful like i got all the kids and him to bed at like 10 o'clock last night so i had a few hours of just like silence to work and then the whining and crying kicked in from blue and it was like happening so much so raf got home from djing like around 2 30 or 3 and that's when i got up because i could hear him crying so much because he heard raf come home so he must have woken up from that so i went out um i you know i tried to see if he wanted to go pee he didn't he really just wanted to cuddle so we slept on the couch for a little bit around four o'clock um i decided okay i need to get back onto my bed so i put him back in his crate he cried a little bit and then got quiet and then around five he woke up crying 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 just like i could hear him pawing at his cage 
I go there and it is like covered in poop. Like that is just not something is, that is fun to wake up to. So <laughs> I got him cleaned up, got his cage cleaned up. I was still so tired, but I ended up sleeping on the couch again with him for a little bit. Probably just for like another hour or so. And since six o'clock is usually like the time I get up anyways, I was wide awake by that time, so I've been up since then, and like I just feel like I've barely gotten any sleep. As much as I don't mind having Blue, I told my parents I was like, I was like, just have them at least for a few hours today because I need to like, a have tons of laundry to do, b I need to finish up work, c I just want to take a nap, or I just want to have like a sense of peace. <laughs> I am over cleaning up pee and poo on our carpet right now, so I want a break. And technically, it's not even really a break because I have chores to do, so mom life. <laughs> Can I just show you the shit show that is our laundry? I mean, what is that? This has been like days of being here because Raf and I haven't been able to tackle it. Like there's some that's folded. We've already put away like a lot that have been folded. But then this is just there. And some of these two, I will admit, like, I am kind of purging some of the clothes, the kids' clothes again. So part of that is in this pile. Because, like, whatever they've outgrown, I'm going to um, donate. So, like, that's part of it. But still, this is a lot. And, of course, the dirty laundry pile is starting to pick up again. So it's just a never-ending mountain of clothes. If you guys uh, want to come over and help me, please feel free. You're more than welcome. I will pay you with food and cuddles from the kids, so <laughs> come on over. Blue, you are okay. You are safe. And to be honest, Austin has been really good because earlier when he saw that I was getting frustrated with picking up this guy's poop, Austin would take him outside and play with him just so I could get a break. But this guy needs to kind of get used to this crate situation. I hate hearing that cry, though. Okay, are you going to be a good boy? Huh? Blue, are you going to be a good boy? Yeah? Come here. Hi, I know, I know. You're so used to being cuddled. It's like a new baby all over again. All right, so for the summer, so that the boys don't lose their smarts and their brains, I got them some Brain Quest workbooks. Austin has already done a few pages. Yeah. But Adrian, we're gonna do this for the first time. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so let's do this. Oh, Adrian, do you know what letter this is? A. A for Adrian. Your name starts with A. Yeah. Yeah. So this is big A and this is little A. So on here, can you find the other matching cards? Which ones are the matching cards? Put a put a circle around it. A circle? Yeah, put a circle around the matching card. Where else do you see the letter A? I know you get used to it. Good circle. Can you put a circle? Good. Okay, how about the other one? Is there another one with the letter A? Yeah. No, no, on this one, on this page. Uh -huh. what, what's another card that has that A on it? Yeah. Does that match that? Yeah. Okay, where's the other matching one? <gasps> Good job. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, no, you did this. One, two, three. That's the ten. Yeah, that's the ten. So count it again. Count it again. One, two, three, four, ten. <laughs> no, 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 no. Because if you did it down here, then that one, that would be the ten. But here, this is how it makes it easy. You can go around it first. Okay, so do that. Like that, uh -huh. okay. Count. Why, why not? One, two, three, four. Four. Like that. I hit seven. Well, That's five. 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 It makes me like a straw. I know, I know. Aiden, Aiden. Come on, come on. Do, it, do it again. One, two, three, four. 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, no, that, that's only ten. It's only ten. Good job! Yeah! So I get a crate, and who uses it? Isla does. <gasps> why are you in there? She loves going in this crate. I don't know why. That's Blue's home. Why are you there? That's for Blue. But that's Blue's house. Why do you like going in there so much? Say Blue! <laughs> yeah! Blue, why is she in your house? It actually does look fun. Huh? It actually does look fun. <laughs> why she wants to go in there. But she would rather stay in there than Blue. Blue wants to get out. She loves staying in. So my dad is actually on his way here now to pick up Blue and the kids so I can get some rest. Wait, what? He's coming? Yeah. Okay, Papa's coming. He's gonna see my homework? Yeah, you can show him your homework. Yay, can we work there? If you want. Yes. Yeah. All right, I am so looking forward to just like a quick power nap and then I have to like power through my the rest of my work, but we forward to be productive and have it be in silence. Maybe I'm gonna crate train the three of you. Yeah! If you guys lead by example, Blue will follow and see that his crate isn't so bad. So I'll keep you guys in the crate for now. You guys just stay there for a few hours, okay? Just show him that it's comfortable. Okay? So you guys just hang out there. I'll see you later. See Blue, look, it's not so bad in there. Look, Blue, he's like, nope, nope, I'm good right here. Nope, <laughs> he's not falling for it.